welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are doing all right so in today's video we are at lime grow mall and i'm here with a few friends that i've met from youtube and we're just gonna have a girls day out i'm not sure what we're gonna do as yet but i'm just gonna take you all a tour with me and show you all what we're gonna do so make sure you subscribe like and share and hit that notification bell hey guys so these are my friends from grenada and this is Danisha, Mia. All right, so them, them basically live in a barbarous right now. I know how long them plan to stay. Um, but we also ask them a few things and uh, how they might enjoy it so far and stuff like that. So, since you all know my channel is based on dealing with different culture because I'm from Jamaica, my husband's from Barbados. So, them from Grenada, they go talk a little bit and give you a little experience of what they're going to right now. So, First thing first, how y'all like Barbados so far? How you like Barbados so far, Tanisha? Um, for me, I, I love Barbados. Um, Barbados is a country that I normally visit every year and I can't, you know, it couldn't be any worse. I, I love it here, basically. How oh, often you come? I come here every year. Do you ever spend Christmas here? No, I've never I've never spent Christmas away from home. Never. So this is gonna actually be your first Christmas? Yes. How you feel? Are you excited? I'm a bit scared. <laughs> <laughs> bit Why are you scared? scared? I, I don't know because like normally growing up home is always um my mother is always like big on Christmas and it's always a fact that you know she believed that you should spend Christmas, everybody family should spend Christmas together. So oh. yeah. Yeah. And what about you? What's your name? Yeah. So, um, how do you feel being in Barbados right now? It's a bit challenging for me because it's my second time. Okay. However, the first time I came here, it was for a short period of time. This time, I'm here for a year to two years studying. Wow. Without any family or friends, so it's a bit, you know, rocky. But yeah. eventually, it would get better. Mm -hmm. But the beaches. Mommy. I love the beaches. Mommy. <laughs> I love the beaches. Mm -hmm. So um, she said she loves the beaches. You like the beaches too? Um, for, for me, like I love the beach. Like for for example, I love Miami Beach. But um, Carlisle Bay, like I I don't like it in the day. Like the sand, like the sun when the sun hit the sand and it gets into your eyes. Okay. So how is the beaches like in Grenada? Like, you see them like wet sand or? Um, no, I won't say that. Like, for example, like as I said, with Colin Bay, it's mixed with both white and pink sand. We have a white sand beach home, but it's not, I don't think that we care it that much to say that, you know, it is as high expected as Barbados. Okay. Um, so, how are we going to manage all this thing? You know, COVID is going on, can we do much activities in Barbados? I feel like can going stay at home. I feel like go work, go work, go home or whatever because all this COVID, I don't really want to be in a lot of people okay, you know, I can't see can make a baby girl get sick so how oh, yeah, I go cope with that? Tough question, madam I'm going to just try to be flexible Yeah <laughs> I go just have to, sometimes you just have to do what you have to do mm -hmm. Of course I would have to follow the protocols yeah. while still trying to go to school and Mommy. what I have to do Yeah so tell me how you like the junk food so far. Have you tried macaroni pies yet? So far I've tried it, but I don't think it's nothing good compared to what we um, do back You home. think it's better back home in Grenada? It's, it's way better back home in Grenada. All right, you know everybody, I have to big up. I have to big up um, their own country. Their own country. But in this case, that's not what it is. It's not hypocritical or anything. The pie back home stays together. It tastes well. Over here, you have a lot of mixture of different things in it that upsets me. I don't know if it's because I'm not yet accustomed yeah, to it, accustomed to and it. what I'm accustomed to is what I like. Yeah, because um, mm -hmm. before we come here, I live, we never used to eat macaroni pie. Since we come here, I live, mm -hmm. we start to eat it. But food. it's not bad at all. Different back home because everybody make different. it different. But mm -hmm. I like it though because yeah. I like it, especially the most by making me love it. Yeah. Um, Danisha, what about you? You like Belgian food? Um, I think we both share different views and I, I love Bajan food. Um, there's only one thing like maybe I didn't really approve of and it was um, I had um, the other day um, some barbecue chicken, uh, no, not barbecue chicken, barbecue pork and the difference is like back home we do the fresh pork 
and over here I, I believe that they do both but they didn't tell me and I got the um, salted um, pig, tail. pig tail and I didn't enjoy it I didn't enjoy it I rather the fresh one where you just season and just mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't like the barbecue here I had the barbecue the other day and it was gone like you know when you want it when you when you're gonna eat food you want to be able to eat the food and enjoy yeah, yeah. it I could not eat the food the barbecue was just there it was black Mm -hmm. It wasn't enjoyable. Well, as time goes by, mm -hmm. I guess you will kind of adjust. I like Shepherd. You like Shepherd? <laughs> well, like, I love Shepherd. Shepherd, like that's the best thing I've tasted so far. These two Grenadians ladies like Shepherd, and I don't like Shepherd. You yeah. don't like it? No, I don't like Shepherd. Like nothing but inside why? of Shepherd? Uh, I also like it because every time you eat it, we like belch it. Yeah. It does not come out of my system. So, what, what do you think about the KFC? Um, KFC is really different from Jamaica. Totally different. We know it's a KFC and they have a little taste, but it tastes totally different. And the thing about it, they don't have barbecue chicken here. Can KFC? No, yeah, it's yeah, only this zinger. I think it's zinger, mm -hmm. so you see. But you have barbecue chicken yeah, we from have Grenada, them. but I don't see it there. But to me, KFC can look a bit different, and chicken is too small. Yeah. You have barbecue KFC in the cup? Yeah. You like it? Compared to back home, no. it tastes different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, to be um to be honest, like I I haven't ate KFC once. I ever ate KFC in Barbados, and I um, didn't. I must say, in all Caribbean countries, I enjoy Trinidad KFC the best. Oh, so you went Trinidad already? Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Okay. Um, have you been to Jamaica? No, I've never been to Jamaica. You would love it. I know. You should um, definitely I, I, visit I, one Yeah, day. I thought about it. I really want to go to experience the rivers so. though. What? <laughs> we have rivers, we have rivers yeah. but not as big as the, the ones we see in Jamaica. Jamaica have a whole set of rivers. Yeah. Just this yeah. morning, I was telling you know, that. Where we, we live, we where I live, like you can walk to the river, mm -hmm. more than one. Because where I live mm -hmm. in Grenada, no, we do have a river there. Mm -hmm. um, like, I mean, we do enjoy. We make the best use of everything we have in Grenada. Like, for example, we just started the rafting in Grenada. And oh. I believe it's because of Jamaica. I'm just, I'm yeah, just gonna say that. it's because of Jamaica because um, they, someone just rented out a, 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 a bar and it's close to a big river because the river where they do in the rafting and they normally do river tubing there and they started the rafting and stuff. And I know it's because of Jamaica like because everybody thinks like when people go there they'll be like, okay, mm -hmm. I'm in Duns River and you know, yeah, those kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I look about Jamaica. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Duns River thing. So, me, yeah. Yeah. I hope you get to adjust living in Barbados. It won't come so easily, especially because it's the second time where Danisha yeah. have more experience because she's been coming here for the past mm -hmm. how, how long now? Since 2013. Since so 2013. Almost eight years. Yeah. Yeah, about mm -hmm. that. So, um, just won't adjust to it. Honestly, um, next what will be six years is moving over here. And I did a video on that on how I adjust living in Barbados. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to go on part two, but people like cost me up bad, so I never really want to do a okay. part two. But I have to make up my mind. But you, you will overcome the challenges that you're going to And once you start work and stuff, mm -hmm. and you meet good friends and good people, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you the truth. Bajans are very quiet people. Mm -hmm. And I won't say they're not friendly, but they're not so friendly friendly. Right. So you just have to know how to work around there. But they are very nice people. You guys won't get me wrong though. You guys are very nice people. But Mm -hmm. You will too adjust it. And then in shop, I guess you you feel like you're at home already. Yeah, yeah. You feel um, at home. I, I, I am used to it. Like I know my way about Barbados. Like I may not know everywhere in Barbados, but I know how you know to, to get, get the fans and you know yeah. get myself around. Yeah. So, yeah. What's your favorite place to go in Barbados? Um, my favorite place. I like I to go and hang out. Yeah, like um, I used to enjoy the the um the cove. Cool. When when thing was when it was oh. open, that's in St. Lawrence Gap. I used to enjoy the pool. Normally we used to go there every weekend in the pool, but now it's different. So I think now I'm gonna try more the beach hang. So like maybe I think about Pirates Cove and um there's a there's, there's this next one. I can't recall the name right now. Okay, and you know, the whole COVID thing, you don't want to be around too yeah. people because you don't want to get it's sick. Really true. And Mia. Yes, ma'am. What y'all gonna do? What y'all what, what gonna do? I go look for a nice little white man <laughs> that loves me and settle down here. All right, and so girl. On. You go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. All right, so my friends are gonna say uh, some slang in Grenada. Because we're not so familiar with them, so they're gonna teach you a little something today. So, you first. Right, well, in most cases, we tell somebody, but tranquilize yourself, which whereby we're saying, relax. Take it easy. 
Z, calm, calm yourself. Yeah, what's the word? Tranquilize? Tranquilize yourself. Tranquilize yourself. So, yeah. yeah. Learn something new to yeah. And you know, Danisha? Well, normally when you're, well, when you're growing up in Grenada, you, you hear your mother, your father, whoever elderly, they tell you, don't play the beast with the biggies. And basically that means, don't play with me. Because I will cut your backside. Yeah. Don't play with me. Alright, <laughs> learn something new today. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and if you want to see more videos with these two beautiful ladies and learn more about Grenadian culture just leave a comment down below and also subscribe hit that notification bye bell. jam family yeah. <laughs> <Bell. laughs> alright